Rackle in... Is it Rachel or Rackle in Coolaroo? Good morning to you. Raquel, good morning to you. Tell me, how far are you from the fire? So we live right next door to Coolaroo Station. At 6.30 this morning, we heard fire trucks screeching up Ferry Road from Pascavale Road. And I turned to my husband and I said, I, I know exactly what's happening. That factory's on fire again. Somebody is going to either get really hurt or killed this time. And um, we've heard that it's close to an LG, uh, at LPG tank. It's heading towards that the fire. And um, it could explode. They're trying to evacuate everyone from the area. I've sent in photos from my front porch and it, our front area is covered in black smoke. It most certainly is. Have you not evacuated yourself, Raquel? We can't. I have a disability, um, so it's hard for me to get out of the house. Do you need assistance? Anyway, yeah, so that can't, it can't happen. All we can do is close the doors. But this is the second time it's happened, and we've lived here two, three years. What do you want done? The EPA say we've had this business, uh, we've been... Since March, we suspended their licence and we've been trying to get them into compliance. I'm sorry. We we are being treated like mugs in the northern suburbs and the western suburbs. They dump the hazardous waste wherever they feel like it. The councils are not doing anything. The EPA is not making them comply. I understand they you're dissatisfied, care. but they... Well, we've got... I've got... Uh, documents in front of me. They are trying. They've been using it's their funny, powers. But, but it, it's pretty funny how uh, they'll close the, the place down and then two, three weeks later it will be on fire. Well, fires can happen for a whole range of reasons. Uh, uh, they're not always preventable, although I do understand your frustration and we all share it. Uh, but I'm more concerned about your immediate situation, Raquel. Do we need to assist you in being evacuated? Do you need some help? Well, no, I, I'm fine. I, I just have to stay here and close all the doors and windows. There's nothing else that can happen. I, I have no one else that does not live in the area. We're all in the same situation. There's lots of people who have kids that go to SBS schools that now can't send their kids to special development schools and have had to keep their kids home from school. In the area, a lot of the, some of the schools, like Corpus Christi, and Glenroy SBS have now um, told us not to send our kids there. So it's just stay home and good luck. Do you think these industries, anything that is so potentially toxic, should just be moved further away from where anybody lives? In which case, where do you send it? How far out does it go? Well, if you were going to build a nuclear power plant, you'd build it in the middle. Of, you'd put it in the middle of nowhere. Why would you put hazardous wet hazardous hazardous waste in the middle of a sub of suburbia, suburban Melbourne. Truck it out like you have to do with hazardous waste from the um, hospital. Uh, Raquel, I don't want to be unkind and I understand your plight, but this has been an area for heavy industry for a very long time. Well, it, then, it, the suburbs it, actually have grown towards this heavy industrial estate, not the other way around. I've lived in, I've lived here for 30 years. I know how it's grown. It's grown exponentially. It's crazy how much it has grown. But if you're going to grow a sub suburb like this on the fringe of Melbourne, you then have to then put in place actions like okay, we now have to move this hazardous waste. Because you can't just build suburbs and have this kind of thing right near it. All right, look, I, I certainly... Uh, if, if the, is there anything at all you want us to assist you with or just to understand the plight of the position that you find yourself in? I understand the EPA has done everything they can. Well, they're asserting that. We, we haven't had a chance to put it to the test. We've invited them to come on board. We... we they, this place needs to be shut down. It's known for what it does. It Everyone is shut down is the point, Raquel. It is. Uh, we know it's shut down, but they reopen it. 
All right. Look, we will, we've will. we invited the EPA. I've received their documents. They say until the situation is, uh, at least the emergency is under control, we won't be speaking. We'll let the emergency services do their work, and that's what they're doing. We're in touch with them as well. Uh, thank you. I, I wish you all the best, and you've raised some important questions. I hope I get the chance to put them to the authorities. 13 minutes past nine. Text messages. EPA 